Hello everyone, my name is Ibrahim Qureshi. This is my first video on my blog. Um, and I'm creating this for um, all the um, Linux users who want to configure this system with SNMP. Now, one of the important uh, reasons why you want SNMP monitoring to be turned on is to um, keep an eye or monitor the critical resources like uh, network, um, CPU, uh, memory, and disk. So um, let's get started. Um, in this video, um, as I have an agenda over here, we'll be going through installing SNMP and then going through how to start the SNMP service and um, how to test the SNMP post. And at the end, we'll go through how to do the SNMP work. Um, just to give you an idea about my setup over here, I have a 2012 high um, 2012 uh, evaluation uh, version running which has a um, Hyper-V server installed and I have uh, two virtual machines running this is my server which is running um, VSFTP and YAM repository so uh, one of the things which I'll be doing is I'm, I'm not going to use um, RPM command to install it I'm going to use yum install commands because I have yum repository I find it very easy to do um, ins installation via yum because it automatically resolves all the dependencies on the Linux server okay so let's get started um, so the command for installing SN net SNMP uh, is uh, yum install net hyphen SNMP Okay, now it's going to resolve any dependencies which I have. Um, now it is asking whether you want to install it. I'll say why to installing it. And there you go. It's, um, it's completed now. Um, let's clear the screen. Um, what I would recommend is to copy the original config file. Um, SNMP. So we have the SNMP configuration um, in a file called snmp.config. So I really want to keep a hold of this file because this is the original file. So I'll just create a backup file for it. BAK, let's say for example. As you can see, I just added a, a cp command to copy the file. Um, and then I'm just using the same file name, but I have added dot back at the end. Um, that's all for it. So this file is created now. So um, let's have a quick look at the um, directory. Uh, it's an MP directory which is in etc. So, oops, I wanted to give cd actually. Slash etc slash snmp. Okay, so if I ls here, you can see. Um, this is the file which I just mentioned about snmp.conf. So I'm going to use vi editor to open this file. There you go. Um, so I will take you through um, some important aspects of this file. Now, first and foremost is the um, community name. Now, you want this to be uh, a secret which is within your organization. Um, because SNMP doesn't use any authentication um, so I would recommend to either comment this line or change this public to your community name so I'm going to change this to seismic s i z m i c okay um, now just to give you a bit of idea what um, if you look at this lines over here this is basically allowing SNMP version 1 and version 2. As I said, version 3 is more um, with authentication, so it requires username and password. So let's not go in that. Now, another thing I want you guys to do is um, this line over here is actually asking to install, uh, to include specific object IDs. Now, if you notice on the subtree, you have 1.3 and long string which is here 
Now this is basically the uh, the OIDs. Now to understand SNMP better, you can log on to my blog, and you'll have a brief understanding of what it is. It's a huge topic. Um, how SNMP works and um, what are MIPS. Um, MIPS are basically, in short, um, they are small databases which are having information of the system. How SNMP works is SNMP asks um, information from this database regarding the resources it, uh, which is running on the system. Now, to classify it individually, the MIB has more detailed information in terms of it is related to object IDs for unique uh, resources. So you have a unique object ID for example a printer or a unique object ID for CPU. Now the object IDs are these. So this is how they look like. Now um, the MIB basically what we are going to use over here um, is um, a default one which will allow the MIPS are basically like a hierarchy and uh, so you can see the root and then you can obviously if you uh, get the root and you can actually query everything from uh, underneath this so to do that what we are going to do is we are going to add this command view all because we want to view all not just system view and then include include it and then I'm just going to leave it with dot one and leave it with 80. Now this is something which you need to remember. This is how you do it. Um, and this basically allows uh, your SNMP to monitor all the resources. Now another thing over here, which I'll be changing is again, the system view. I want to change it to all because I, I would be interested in looking at all the resources again okay so that's basically it um, for configuring the SNMP file um, what I want to do is um, I want to save this file now as all the changes has been done so I'll give escape colon WQ exclamation mark and that's it this changes has been saved um, so the next step which I want to go through is to okay let's do this first um, at the moment I did not start the SNMP service now SNMP service runs with SNMP D that D stands for daemon but um, which basically starts the SNMP service and everything now what we are going to do is we are going to check if SNMP port is listening at this moment as you can see um, the SNMP port is 161 and it's not listening. Now, once we start this service using this command, SNMPD, service SNMPD start. Now, there are a number of ways to do um, the same thing um, in Linux. Now, we can either start by giving this command, which is a service SNMPD start, or we can, we can do it via this command etc slash initd slash snmpd and then start there you go it started um once it is started let's check whether the port 161 is listening now with the same command which we just gave earlier okay as you can see snmp is port 161 is listening on udp so Obviously, it's um, uh, UDP port on TCP which it listens. Um, okay, so now we have the SNMP running. Now, next thing, what I want to do is make sure SNMP service is still running after restarting the system or after the uh, system is rebooted. So, by default, it should... Um, as an administrator, you should configure it to start. Um, so for, for doing that, you have a utility which is check config, which keeps an eye on all the services which should be running. So what we are doing now is by giving this command, check, check config SNMPD on, we are asking this check config to make sure SNMP service is running after any reboots. Now we can check that. 
using this command over here which is check config hyphen hyphen list space snmpt okay so as you can uh, see this command has listed all the status of snmpt running on different run drivers now as you might know already if you don't just to give you an idea uh, linux has um, six run drivers zero means it's off six means it's going to reboot um, so it's off on these two levels and then um, one is only for recovery mode two is single user mode three is where all the services run but it doesn't include any graphics four is for research purposes and five is the graphical user interface um, so with that in mind snmp service is now running on all these run levels number two three four and five okay so that's one thing sorted now let's test the snmp um, whether it is working to do that um, when we install snmp i would recommend you guys to install another package i will write down here uh, it is done via this command yum install s um, net hyphen snmp hyphen utils utils so basically net snmp uh, utils is a com is a package which has all the uh, troubleshooting and um, other utilities like snmp walk so let's try and install it here okay so it's basically telling that the package is already installed and you don't need to do anything okay that's fine if you would have not installed it then it will ask you do you want to install it you need to give yes and then it will install it from there okay let's copy this command this is the snmp walk command which is curing the um, snmp for listing all the um, MIP databases using the OIDs there you go it is curing all the resources which are present on the system now um, so that's basically it and I hope you enjoy the um, video this is my first video so if you like it please feel free to comment and um, if you have any issues or questions I would be happy to uh, look into it thanks